Adele, welcome to my channel Button and Pip. Now today's vlog is a collaboration with Josie from It Is Josie and we're going to be doing a series of vlogs looking at male dress patterns. So I'm really excited about this because my husband's been asking for me to make him something for quite a while but I admit I don't really know actually where to look for modern and easy dress patterns for men. So we're hoping that this series is gonna help other people out there find some easy and some suitable patterns that we can be creating for our other halves. Now, first vlog that we're going to do today is all about t-shirts. And the way that these vlogs are going to work is I have chosen a t-shirt pattern for Josie and Josie have cho has chosen a t-shirt pattern for me. And that's all we know about each other's patterns and makes. So I don't know what fabric she's chosen at all. Um, and I know the pattern that I chose for her is a little bit tricky, so she's mashed it up a bit. That's as much as I know. So I'm really excited for on the reveal day of these vlogs to see what Josie's made. Now, the pattern that Josie's found for me, which is actually really amazing because it's a new dress pattern company that I've never known before. So it's a dress pattern company from America called Ellie and Mac and they do PDF patterns. And I, I, I didn't know anything about this dress pattern company. So when I logged on and saw the pattern that she chose me, I was really excited because it's a priced pattern as well. And I've heard actually very good reviews on the instructions from Ellie and Mac. So I'm really excited to try my first pattern with them. So let me talk about the pattern and then I'll show you some of the fabric that I've chosen for my husband. So the pattern that Josie chose me from the Ellie and Mac is the basic men's t-shirt pattern. And it has two variations. So it's got a, a colour block version and then just a plain version. Actually, it's got three because you can also do it as long sleeves, which might be an idea for the winter time. Um, so Josie has chosen for me to do the colour block version, which I'm actually really excited because even though it's a basic t-shirt, it adds a little bit of extra dimension, a little bit more interest to the pattern. Now, another thing about the Ellie and Mac patterns is what I like on their website is they've got lots of pictures of people that have already created this pattern. So there's a massive size range and the pictures on there reflects that as well. So it's really good to get a good idea of how the pattern fits on different body shapes, also different ages, so that you can be sure that this would be the pattern for you. Now, it's a really great pattern simple lines. I'm going to try and tailor it in a little bit because my husband likes um, a slim fit t-shirt. So I met, I'm, well, I'm going to make it as it's standard because it's a regular fit and then try it on, see if I just need to take in the sides or whatever, just to get the perfect fit. But Josie has chosen a colour block. Now there's two ways that we could do this. So the sleeves can be half and half or you can just go full sleeve and then the colour changes here, which is the version I'm going to do. So let me talk about the fabric that I've chosen and I'll show you how I'm going to get the colour block um, right. So I picked up two organic jerseys from the Draper's Daughter and it's the first time as well that I've used this um, uh, fabric store. So it was really nice because I, I knew that I wanted plain fabrics for him because he's not one that likes patterns, so plain fabrics in his favourite colour, great. So I've gone with this one. I'm sorry, these are only little scraps because I've already cut it out. Oh, the first version of this introduction, for some reason I deleted it off my phone, so I'm having to record it again. So the first one at the top, so this is going to be at the top, and it's a light grey colour, and the main body of the t-shirt is going to be this darker colour. So I ordered half a metre of the light grey, and one meter of the dark gray. And I've actually got quite a bit left of this dark gray, which would work again if I did the top half of this and then maybe the bottom half. So it's good that I've got some extra, maybe some headbands as well. Well, he won't want the headbands, but maybe I could have some nice plain headbands. Oh, I'm blabbering on now, aren't I? Right, so I've got the two colors that I'm going to make his color block t-shirt out of gray at the top, grey at the bottom, well, light grey at the top, dark grey at the bottom. Right, let's just get on, shall we? <laughs>
and here it is. So the Ellie and Mac basic tea pattern and I'm absolutely over the moon with this and if you've just seen those photos you can see that it fits perfectly to my husband and he is really chuffed with it. So he doesn't want to come on a video but I'm going to put a little twirl in for him of him because he actually did do one so while I talk about this just like I said I was going to plan to do two different colour blocks light grey at the top darker grey at the bottom now I could have also split the sleeve in half as well and had the both of the two greys there but I didn't want it to look too busy I just wanted a clear one colour and a second colour so I've, I've kept them whole and all I did with that is I put the two pieces butt to butt right next to each other and um, they didn't need to overlap it just worked perfectly so that's all that you need to do with that and I'm so chuffed with it now the only changes that I've done to this pattern is I've taken the side seams in by an extra centimetre each side and um, that's basically because it's a regular fit t-shirt but my husband prefers a tighter fit to his t-shirt so it, it was outside in the garage and I kept running down with the t-shirt trying it on at various points and when it had finished she said I would prefer it a little bit tighter so he would have coped with how it was as a regular fit but I know he prefers it just that little bit of a slimmer fit and it was perfect now the only other change I did to as well was I added a um, top stitching to this part to hold that seam down because when he tried it on he said I can feel that seam there and I could and he's a bit fussy in the way that I knew it would annoy him that it would be there so all I did was I steamed it really well that seam and then I pressed it up and I've done an, um, a stitch there now it's not a um stretchy stitch it's just a plain straight stitch so i know it has the potential to pop if he moves around in it too much but i don't think it, it would really have much of a stress point there so it should be all right now i came across a few little problems with this fabric only purely because it's such lovely uh jersey but it rolls up and it was I found as soon as I cut it with the scissors, it began to roll. In particular, the neckband really did roll. So I followed um, how I normally do neckbands on jersey is I use the, um, the long stitch and just tacked it in first. But even by doing that, I kept missing little bits. And then when I came to do the overlocking, I still missed a tiny bit here. So I had to take that in a little bit more than I really should. So it's not completely even. Now, from far away when he's got it on, you can't even notice that. And I know it's me probably being really picky, but I know it's there and it's kind of a bit frustrating. And also I found that the bottom also sort of moves or curls up when he's wearing it and I haven't done a uh, twin stitch on this because I've tried the twin needle on my machine before and I just can't seem to get on with it so I've overlocked it turned it and just done a straight stitch and it does curl up a little I don't know what I'm going to do with that if anyone's got any suggestions of what I can do to stop that curling please let me know and I also added a lovely little detail a little handmade um a little handmade label there from kylie and the machine over in australia she, i put a link down to her shop she's got absolutely tons of lots of different unique labels and i just liked it there kind of giving that um hand touched handmade touch i really like that feature so yeah overall i'm ecstatic with this make and i'm definitely going to make another one of these and just like i I anticipated the Ellie and Mac instructions are amazing, especially if you're a beginner, um, that they guide you through every step really clearly with photos and with instructions as well. So this is a great pattern to do as a beginner. Now, I'm really, really happy with how that's gotten, but I don't know what Josie has done. All I know is that she's kind of mixed up or hacked the pattern that I chose for her I haven't seen the fabric I don't know anything what version or anything that she's done so after watching my vlog if you haven't already head over to Josie and go and have a look at her video I can't wait to see her make 
and at the end of the month, I know this is halfway through the month and I'm probably saying this a little bit prematurely, but if you've watched this within August, the link will actually be in the description box by now. Josie's going to write a blog post talking all about the different types of men's t-shirts and sort of intermediate beginner t-shirt patterns and so forth like that. And I'm going to write a blog post all with um, a database of male t-shirt patterns because I found on when I started this challenge I found it really difficult to know where to look for men's patterns so I'm hoping that this series of vlogs will help with that it will help lots of other people but also I'm trying to collect lots of um, recommendations from other people so lots of people have recommended already over on Instagram if you've got any recommendations of good t-shirt patterns for men, please can you tell me in the comments section below, that'd be fabulous. And I'm gonna put it all together in a database blog post by the end of the month. So if you're in August, go ahead, go ahead and have a look at that. Right, that's series or uh, episode one of our new collaboration. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to do next. We haven't chosen what we're um what item we're going to be making for our husbands but i love the fact that i don't know what she's done she doesn't know what i've done and we're going to find out when we see these first vlogs thank you ever so much for watching today if you like my video please subscribe to my channel head over to josie have a look at hers and subscribe to her channel too and i'll see you soon bye bye